kinda here. I'm back after a um, break, break of a dog reviews because I needed a little time to recuperate after reacting to, to Teen Titans book. Finally, I'm gonna talk about Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island. One of the most shameless rehashes of SpongeBob ever to exist. It has the voice of Rob Paulson as as Coconut Fred. He was so ashamed of this show that he didn't even put it on his resume. And for a good reason, this show is awful. We're gonna take a look at the episode Lemon Overboard. Cause it is an exact ripoff of every Squidward torture porn ever made, but worse! And that is why I show this. So it starts off with Coconut Fred combing the beach when he finds a sailing whistle, which he annoys everyone in the audience with, including me. And then he makes a watermelon fall into the pool where he drowns, and he takes his hat and continues the whistle. And then we get to meet today's victim. Hooray! Today's victim of today's circumstances is Reggie the Lemon. But we're gonna call him Lemon Squidward. Because that's what he is. He's Lemon Squidward. So Lemon Squidward can't work on his boat because Fred is whistling. So Fred wants to be a sailor. And so he wants Lemon Squidward to help him to teach him. So we build, ask Fred to build a boat. He builds a boat in like three seconds flat because who cares about continuity or laws of physics or anything like that. Then we get to meet the crew. Now here's a good time with the title of characters. There are no original characters here. All of them are ripoffs. First off, we have Bungaberry. Uh. Yeah, he's a caveman. A Spongebob? Is that you? What were you doing on that horrible show? Go back to meme heaven. Then we have Patrick and Patrick. No, really. These are slip and slide. They're both Patrick. And we have Bingo, who's apparently Midget Apple. But he's not in this episode, so... Uh -huh. And then once we get, like, we don't even, and then the rest of the episode is just them constantly annoying this lemon dude. <laughs> lemon Squidward cannot even stand, it looks like he wants to shoot his brains out. But since this is a kid's cartoon, obviously he can't do it because he's angry. So since the cherry stayed behind, he had to stay with the watermelon who runs the place, and they can't run the place without Fred! No! That's not how it works! Gee, I haven't seen that before on Spongebob! Where they couldn't run the Krusty Krab without Spongebob! And... Back to Spongebob. The Squid Corky Corner here is a lot more... mind-numbing. So, then he tells the story on the boat and how the boat wrecked. He got on the island. But here's what happens. You see, I'm gonna tell you something. Whenever Coconut Fred gets his eyes swirling, you better watch out. It's just like in Super Noobs, when the kids use the, the, the devices to mm, jumpstart the plot or do whatever they want. Coconut Fred can make anything happen what he wants. He can control his destiny. He doesn't care anything. He just wants the the plot to go the way he wants it, and that you cannot have a character like that. That defeats the whole purpose, and it's just lazy writing. And that's only the beginning. So everything in the story happens in the boat, and the lemon crashes the boat again. And we learn that it was Coconut Fred all along that made him crash on the island in the first place. Which just makes it ten times worse, and, and it's more like a kick in the balls. And because, above all that, when they get back, the, the watermelon is actually happy that Fred is back, so he could blame him for everything that's happened on the island. 
And then they live back together. <laughs> no! Basically, this just feels like a bunch of SpongeBob episodes. Like, it feels like ARG when they had to go somewhere. It felt like whatever happened to SpongeBob when, when, when all of this happened. They felt like giant Squidward with all the randomness. And may I not forget the Spongarmy? And it was all rolled up in some annoying orange style. style. show that should have just died. I'm surprised it got past the first episode. Anyway. Coconut Fred is not a good show. It's not something that you want to show to your kids. Also, Co Coconut Fred, Rob Paulson, why do you do this? You take some of the most stupidest job offers. Although you do voice some great characters like Carl Weezer and and Donatello from the 2012 series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you are questionable. Uh, well, I guess that's all for Coconut Fred. Okay guys, there are a couple options of what I could do next. I've been wanting to do a, a Brooks Hartman movie where I review all different types of Fairly Odd Parents episodes. If you, want, if you want me to do that, let me know. I also need to want to review a couple other things. Later.